Achieving Earth's Ecological Potential. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 237. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 237, October 8th, 2017 edition. Today's topic achieving Earth's ecological potential, which we think is a really great idea considering that we only have one planet to share, and we all share it, and this is where we're all living, and so it seems to make a lot of sense to achieve the maximum sustainability of this planet as possible, because by definition, if it's not sustainable, it is not sustainable. And if it's not sustainable, that means it's not going to last. It means that we can't do this indefinitely. And so our goal is to embrace the opposite of that, achieving Earth's ecological potential. Let's create a planet that is as sustainable, as abundant, and with the longevity, as much longevity as possible, because it would be to the benefit of everyone and everything living here. And so one community is purposed to do that, to achieve Earth's ecological potential through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living, living for the highest good of all people and life on this planet. And so everything that you see happening in the background here is our work to this point moving in that direction the direction of achieving Earth's ecological potential through sustainable food, through sustainable housing, through sustainable uh, energy, through sustainable education, through fulfilled living practices, highest good economic models, as well as true Earth stewardship. And that is really what it's all about, that true Earth stewardship of saying, hey, let's take, let's take this planet and let's steward it. Let's be the conscientious stewards that we are capable of as humanity. Let's be the ones that create the change that we know is possible, that make this world what is possible, so that we can comprehensively and permanently address poverty, homelessness, lack of energy infrastructure, all the ecological challenges that we're uh, realizing right now, so that we can address what's happening with pollution and destruction of our ocean ecosystems, mountain ecosystems. I mean, pretty much our entire planet is currently experiencing challenges, and the solutions exist. And so one community wants to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough to address those solutions. And our way of doing that is through one community, building and demonstrating one community, inviting people to participate, engage with what it is that we're creating as a model of self-sustainable and self-sufficient living, working together in cooperation, collaboration with other communities, villages, and teacher demonstration hubs all around the world to create more and more open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. Achieving Earth's ecological potential by providing more of what people want, built on a foundation of sustainability and self-sufficiency, providing more freedom, more time to do with that, more economic stability, and most importantly, a model for people to live better than the way that most people are living right now arguably better than the way that almost all people are living right now, and definitely better than the way that everybody in third world countries is living right now. And so our goal is to create a model that is that demonstrates sustainability and provides that, an evolution of sustainability that combines the physical foundations, the food, the energy, and housing, with the emotional foundations of the highest good economics, the highest good education model, fulfilled living model, and the stewardship, and putting it all together in one place so that people can take the aspects of it they want, implement them in their lives, leave the aspects that they don't, but for those that want to implement all of what one community is, everything you see happening here in the background, those are the people that we want to work with as a global cooperative, a global collaborative of organizations working together to create teacher demonstration hubs like One Community that are designed to be self-replicating. Teacher demonstration hubs designed to teach others how to create teacher demonstration hubs as well and all built on this foundation of self-sufficiency and sustainability and purpose to achieve Earth's ecological potential because they give more than they take. And if we can replicate that model of giving more than it takes, of, of conserving, of being sustainable, and we can make it mainstream with 
the major with the majority of people not necessarily even doing it because they're interested in philanthropy or humanitarian reasons, but with enough people doing it for philanthropic and humanitarian reasons so that they are contributing to the open source collective sufficiently to provide something for everybody. And so while not everybody may want to participate or choose to participate, we can create enough of this foundation to launch a new paradigm of living that provides more of what people want. And so for everybody who does want to participate, and if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough, we believe that enough people will participate and that there's no question that enough people could participate within our lifetime to transform our planet and our civilization to a sustainable one within our lifetime. And that is achieved through one group of 50 people starting. And our one community is meant to grow to thousands eventually. But even if it were just one group of 50 and that one group of 50 inspired two more groups of 20 to 50 people the next year to start a version of one community, a self-sustainable teacher demonstration hub. And if those two inspire four more, who inspire eight more, who inspire 16 more, each the next year, and then 32 and then 64, if you run the numbers, within three decades, we could transform our entire planet to a world that is sustainable and meets the needs of everyone that truly is created for the highest good of all people and all life on this planet while simultaneously representing the, the vast diversity of values, the da vast diversity of goals and different perspectives, uh, religions, ethnicities, all of that being represented, working in cooperation and collaboration without the need for conflict. This is what we see. And one community is meant to be that melting pot, that place where, where every for people from all kinds of different um, belief systems and different goals can come together, work together to create a better world for everybody. So this is how we are achieving Earth's ecological potential and within our lifetime. So with that said, let's jump into our updates. Our organization is 100% nonprofit. We are an all-volunteer organization. We're a non-government organization. So uh, none of us are paid for what it is that we're doing, including myself, of course. And so all the donations, everything we get goes into forwarding our mission, keeping our global website up and running and all the other things related to that. And so here is one week of our all volunteer teams, progress and accomplishments, working towards achieving Earth's ecological potential within our lifetime. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued SketchUp design for the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. This week, we researched ideas for the outdoor game and exercise areas, and designed and modeled the walkways and several outdoor game ideas in SketchUp. The core team also continued working on the complete Treehouse Village Pod 7 render. This week's focus was adding in tree and shadow details, improving the surrounding landscape, and creating version 1 of the website header image, all of which you can see here. Sungum Stanzak, PhD in PE, continued researching the filtration options for the communal eco-shower gray water. You can see a summary of this week's findings here. Hemanth Kodra, structural engineering master's student, completed his 10th week with us doing research and running calculations for the Earth Bank Village. This week's focus, as shown here, was continuing researching the effectiveness of nails as an anti-shear option between Earth Bags. Jagannathan Shankar Mahadevan, mechanical engineer, completed his fourth week working on the Straw Bale Village cost analysis. What you see here are third generation cost estimates. We'd say we're now about 80% complete with the full cost analysis for this village. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 84 of Dean's work, continuing to test and develop the textures and lighting from the skylights and windows for the central dining and presentation hall. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 58th week helping with the compressed earth block village design and render details. This week's focus was these two final renders of the massage and treatment room looking northeast, and this view of the barbecue and social space on the north side of the second floor looking east. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, 
also joined the team and completed this updated compressed earth block village kitchen render by adding people, food, and other aesthetic details. Samantha Robinson, graphic designer, completed her 10th week working on the interior design for the living structure of the treehouse village. This week's focus, as shown here, was finalizing the stair and railing designs, adding in the initial window blind details, and other minor aesthetic improvements. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. Falgu and Patil, mechanical engineer, completed his sixth week continuing to review, run calculations, and update the specifics of the remote energy setup plan so we can update the highest good energy page. This week's focus, as shown here, was the feasibility of including a battery backup and starting the outline for the second phase of adding residents. Dipti Donderker, electrical engineer, continued with her 53rd week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was finalizing the lighting options for the dining dome column, wall, overhang, and table lights. We then created the image shown here and added it and a summary of our findings to the website. Aravin Vasudovan, mechanical engineer, continued his calculations and research for the climate battery component of the city center heating and cooling open source hub. This week's focus was sizing and placement specifics, adding more details to the tutorial and updating the cost analysis specifics for the fans. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued researching and organizing and made these images of the recently found resources for our food self-sufficiency transition plan and sustainable food nutrition calculations page, as you can see here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team began building the education assessment format open source page and tutorial. This week's focus was the what and why sections, building the table of contents, and the helpful evaluation tips and tools sections, as shown here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team working with Ashwin Patil, web developer, finished another round of revisions and added the search engine to the Highest Good Society page, bringing this search engine to 95% complete. We also finished final revisions to the Highest Good Energy search engine, bringing it to 100% complete. Samya Manahar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, working on the Highest Good Network software, successfully updated the data in MongoDB through Express and completed the PUT operation in Ember. In addition to this, Priti Kotari, information technology enthusiast, also completed her eighth week helping with the Highest Good Network software. This week's focus was working to resolve database connectivity issues, some of which you can see here. Well, there you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards achieving Earth's ecological potential. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content related to everything that we've talked about and a whole lot more, visit our website, visit our written blog. If you'd like to get involved, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. The easiest way, of course, to help us out is through sharing our information or uh, subscribing to our YouTube channel, following our progress. Thank you, of course, to watch it, for watching to the end. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. And uh, of course, thank you.
Thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for the comments that we get. Thank you for the likes that we get. Thank you for the subscriptions, for subscribing to our YouTube channel if you have. Thank you for following our progress. You know, it all makes a difference. Every little bit is a step in the right direction. So thanks for involving yourself in whatever way works best for you. We really do appreciate it. Uh, if you aren't already, you can follow us on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Twitter. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Tumblr. We are on Reddit and about 15 other social media networks. So join us there if that's something that you'd like to do, if you'd like to monitor uh, our progress that way. And uh, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.